Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to another podcast episode. For this one, I'm just gonna share with you guys what happened today. And after I record this one, I'm just gonna upload it right away so there will be no recording. I mean, there will be no editing. See? That's why I need to edit. <laughs> anyway, I'll not be editing it. I'll just be uploading it right after. Um, today's October 12th and it's a Monday. I just wanted to share with you guys what happened today. And I just had the amazing rest day because I just scheduled my Mondays to be my quote-unquote me time or my self-care me time rest days. Usually my Saturdays are... I don't have work on a Saturday because I have my, you know, PhD classes every Saturday. And sometimes I use that time to babysit my nephew. So I really can't say that I have that time for myself. So I basically just use my Mondays to really take my time off from everything. So today, I woke up and I prepared my coffee. I'm still using my purge beans, but I'm almost out. That's why I ordered from another coffee roasters or coffee. They're not a coffee shop, but they do brew their, I mean, they do roast their own coffee. And it's Bitter Boo. I found them in Instagram. They don't have, I think they don't have this physical store, but... If people are interested to buy their products, they can actually buy them online and just pick it up at Pepper Lunch near Monday Hotel in Davao, downtown Davao. And they also do deliveries. So I suggest you try them out. They have their different choices or options when it comes to cold brew. They have different flavors for it. And I also just saw last week that they have their own coffee beans and that's when i decided to order from them and they said that their coffee they roast their coffee every saturday i think so they're closed on a sunday that's why i had my beans delivered today and they delivered it right at home for free and i've been ordering from them i think it's twice already but it's the first time that I I am going to try their coffee beans. So I actually ordered two. I had their, um, wait, I had bought their Daybreak blend and also their Midnight blend. But they highly recommend their Midnight blend. But I also would like to try their Daybreak blend. So I'll be doing a vlog about it soon. I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to finish all my purge beans before I open this one. But it's suggested that after beans were roasted, you have to, to you know, open them and brew them within a week or two to preserve the, still preserve the flavor. And yeah, that's when they delivered around 2 in the afternoon. I already had lunch then. Um, what else? I actually printed a lot of Senate, pending Senate bills from our international labor law class. And our professor decided to, or required us to read all those I, um, more or less 10 to 15 Senate bills. And then he had given us a few questions to answer. And the deadline is within two weeks, so I guess I needed to you know, do a head start on it. And our second subject, risk management, had already started last Saturday. I'm undergoing um, PhD classes in University of Mindanao. I have graduated my master's degree under that class, I, under that school as well. And, and um, all right, I had to pause on recording because there was somebody outside and the dog just our dogs just continued on barking and i don't want it to be <laughs> heard in this podcast recording so going back um so i was talking about what was what was i talking about 
Um, yeah. So I finished or I graduated my master's degree in University of Mindanao. So basically, we are uh, the classes that we have per semester. We only have three subjects, and it's not your typical classes. Like they are not simultaneously taken. So with a matter of, I forgot how many weeks. Let let's say, um, let's say we have fifteen weeks. So it will be five weeks per subject so the first subject we'll take it for five weeks and then the next five saturdays would be a different saturday so that's how i think i would say that's how light our subjects or our classes have been but the number or the the depth of our requirements are not that light actually so i just wanted to share with you guys that um experience because maybe some of you out there would want to continue you know taking up your master's degree or your doctorate degree and i highly suggest that you you try it out and pray for it pray about it because it's really a good investment you know to continue your studies and it's not going to make your brain stagnant and it i as for me, ha, personally, I feel like my my head or my mind is is somehow floating or weird in a weird state when I'm not studying or when I'm not reading about something, and I don't want to make my mind or my brain like it's in a low place. So I constantly enjoy really studying, learning, and it's one of my top strengths as well that's why i encourage people to continue reading even if it's just a fictional book or a non-fiction non-fiction book just read and inform yourself educate yourself and gain wisdom from it gain knowledge and it's very it's going to be significant in the long run i'm not saying that i'm like i'm the most smartest person or i'm the most informed person i have my moments of clarity i also have my moments of like i'm stuck or i'm hungered you know so it's not going to be easy but at least you're doing something for your mental is it a mental health um mental you know stability of your knowledge and your brain i don't know if it's something that resonates with you or i don't know if you actually get what i mean anyway so after i did all of those things i printed out a lot of my my assignments and my requirements and those bills i then checked my email for any important um you know emails that i need to read or i need to reply to i usually check my emails twice a day morning and before i go to sleep and it's very important for me for my business for my personal oh shucks i'm sorry guys it's so noisy out there anyway i really take time to check my emails as well as i receive some of the daily devotionals from there so i also read my daily devotionals there plus um in the mid-afternoon i actually started taking my i actually um ganito yung um all my coffee beans after i extracted i after i grinded them i after i extracted them i saved all those leftover coffee beans and i mean coffee grounds leftover coffee grounds and i saved them because i really wanted to make my own coffee scrub few years back i already searched on this and i really wanted to try this out but it's just today that i can make my own because of my coffee coffee i've been brewing my own coffee that's why i have this extra coffee grounds so i made it and i searched for some of the few ingredients that i can see here at home so i made my coffee ground i, I mean my coffee scrub just this afternoon and after i made it i took a bath it was already four or five in the afternoon and it's very simple and i love how the scrub made my skin very smooth the ingredients that i just prepared was my coffee grounds olive oil or coconut oil if you have but i used olive oil i also used honey raw honey and just brown sugar 
I just mix it all up in a bowl and then I put it on in a container and bring it with me in the CR as I took my bath. So I scrubbed my face and my body. I, I let it sit for 10 minutes. So I had to bring my phone with me in there. And I watched a few clips and, you know, some of the some of the things that I watched in Netflix. But 10 minutes is just 10 minutes. So I washed it off. I used soap and I even do did some other scrubs with me so it it really i love how it made my skin very soft and i'm gonna do it i think i'm gonna do it once a week for my self-care routine skincare routine i think i have a lot of skincare routine like i have my weekly twice a week you know the mci I don't know how to explain this one. The MCI, the thing that would suck the the skin on your face to remove all the whiteheads, blackheads, and stuff. So I use that twice a week. It was recommended twice a week for oily skin. And I also have my, I bought my own IPL or the laser, hair removal laser. I've been doing IPL in Abriza for a year and then COVID happened, quarantine, and I just stopped going to that branch in Abriza and I bought my own online and I've been doing it for every two weeks or twice a month. So I've also, yeah, hair removal for the body. I won't mention where particularly in the body, but yeah, I've been doing that and that's my self-care skincare routine for my face before i've used a lot of products but i tried on reducing and i always i only use toner and serum every day and sometimes i don't put anything and just want to rest my face especially that for like 10 15 years i've been using heavy makeup and it's leading me to have this breakouts and i just it just stresses me out like when i reached 28 years old my my skin started breaking out and i can't do anything about it it's you know large acne and it's it's so i hate it you know and it's difficult to hide it and also i've been having a lot of max mask knees lately so yeah um what else so i'm Right now, I'm recording. It's around 6 in the evening and I'm preparing myself to I'm preparing myself to another, you know, section of the day, like for my night list of things to do. So I had put on my Netflix account in my TV. So I sometimes I play it to watch the the movie that's playing and sometimes i just play it for the background sometimes i can't really concentrate depends on the situation and the mood but sometimes i can't concentrate without it playing and sometimes it even distracts me so it depends on the day and i have my water with me here on the table my coffee and i lit one of my favorite scented candles for those who know me i really love i'm a fan of candles and i have my yankee candle here and i forgot what the the smell of this is what the scent this is but it's pink and it's so it smells so good i can remember hmm, i can remember the place where i bought it i bought this one recently in singapore last february but it's been three years that I've been buying candles from Yankee Candle, sometimes out of the country, and sometimes I would also buy this in Ed Sashang. So right now, I'm also preparing my um, PhD classes requirement. We actually have our Blackboard or virtual classroom in the website and University of Mindanao website. Yeah, and it's there that we can see the requirements or we also do the collaboration there meaning we use that platform as a face-to-face -face, um, meeting once a week or sometimes once in two weeks so i guess i'm gonna be do i think two submissions for 
for this new subject that we have. And another subject, yung sa law, labor laws, it's very difficult, but I'm gonna try and read some of those Senate bills to try to understand them and maybe try to answer some of the questions. So that's what my night, I mean, that's what my Monday is. And I just enjoy, you know, taking time with myself, giving my self some time to relax and recharge every monday so that's it i chose monday because i have work tuesday to friday and then sunday as well saturday i can say that it's a rest day because i still have a lot of things to do especially you know babysitting my nephew can be tiring because he always wants to be carried and it's kind of heavy but I can't help it because it's so cute. So I enjoy it. At the same time, I'm dreading it because he's heavy. So yeah, I also have been so excited lately that I bought this laptop stand. And it's very helpful for my back as it made my laptop, you know, eye level. And I'm not going to be, you know, it's not going to give me any more neck problems. So I'm just happy to have this one. And yeah, so far, that's my Monday. And I hope you, whenever you're listening to this, I hope you're having a great day. And yeah, I hope, I don't know. Wala na akong masabi, guys. Yun lang. I just wanted to share with you what happened today. So thank you for listening, guys. I hope you're doing well. Bye!